Hey boys and girls, so we are actually gonna read a story that we have read quite a few times. You're very familiar with it. And that story is, Graham is coming to my house. Do you remember that story? Perfect, yeah, we've read it quite a few times in the last couple of weeks. What do you remember about this story? Yeah. Now let me ask you, how do you go and visit your grandparents? Do you go on an airplane? Or do you go on a car, a shuttle, a bus? How do you get to your uh, grandparent? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Miss Falashik, when she goes to visit her grandparents, I have to get on an airplane because it is far away. It would take me forever to drive. So we get on an airplane too. Now, we have been talking about two types of transportation that are aerodynamic. Can you say that? When a transportation is aerodynamic, that means that it uses air to travel, like a helicopter. It flies high in the sky because it moves air around in a circle by its propellers. An airplane is aerodynamic because it uses its little propellers here. I forget what these are called, but they are like a fan and they move it like this. So the fan moves this way for an airplane and this way for a helicopter. So they're a little bit different. Now what I want you to do is just be paying attention to what Graham travels on, okay? We know she goes on a couple of different types of transportation, but when you see a helicopter or an airplane, I want you to give me a thumbs up. Okie dokie. All right, I'm gonna move forward just so you can hear me better. Now we're just gonna read this story for enjoyment and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. Today is the day Graham is on her way. Graham is coming to my house. From her house afar, Graham gets in her car. She's on her way to my house. See, now you can help me read. Park here, watch the puddle. Graham jumps on a shuttle. Graham is one ride closer to my house. Boarding pass backpack, Graham eats a quick snack. Then she's on a Airplane, an airplane to my house. Down the runway, Graham zips by. She is off into the sky. Graham's in a jet flying to my house. Look how long that airplane is, wow. Off the plane onto a bus. Car, shuttle, airplane, bus, bus, plus a train. Graham is closer to my house. All aboard, bumping along. The wheels sing a clacking song. Graham is coming. Graham is coming to my house. The train's at the station. Graham needs transportation. Buy a ticket for the metro to my house. First the red line, then the blue. Graham will know just what to do. This isn't her first trip to my house. So now she's on the metro, which is a bus for the city. Into the taxi cab at last. Please, Mr. Driver, go very fast. Graham doesn't want to be late to my house. Graham, Graham, you're here. Come with me, bike or scooter, which will it be? Graham's just in time for a ride at my house. The end. Round of applause. Awesome. So now let's take a look back at our two types of aerodynamic transportation. Which one did Graham travel on to get to her grandson's house? Was it a helicopter? or an airplane? An airplane, yup, exactly. Now both of these are similar in a way that, actually I don't wanna tell you because you're gonna answer that yourself. So what I want you to do is I want you to look at this airplane and this helicopter. And below I want you to tell me one thing about these two vehicles that are the same and one thing that is different, okay? So look at these. And if you need to pause and just look even more and talk about it, that's totally fine. 
just go ahead and look. Tell me one thing that is the same about a helicopter and an airplane and one thing that is different.